Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to Crystalline's Crystal Visions, where we use tarot, oracle, music, and just whatever comes through dreams to get a message from the Holy Spirit to help us to heal and move forward in our lives, okay? So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for the likes, the shares, your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for your comments. Um, I really appreciate it. Okay, so thank you guys so much. All right, so let's see what messages we have today. Holy Spirit, thank you for your guidance. For the angels around me for protecting me as I channel this message. So All right, let's see. What message do you have for the collective at this time? What do they need to know? Bottom of the deck energy, we have the Empress, okay? So the Empress is someone who is, could be someone pregnant, doesn't have to be, but it's someone who knows how to nurture, who knows how to grow. It's all the queens in the deck. She's beautiful. She's smart. She's kind, she's caring, she knows how to uh, get a job done, okay? And she rules over lots of nations, right? All right, Spirit, so what about this Empress? So the song that's on now is Drew Barrymore by SZA. Okay, we have the world. So someone could be ending out a cycle, closing out toxic patterns, closing out things that no longer serve them, okay? This is a big major arcana. So something major in the life is being closed out. Yes, we have the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is like, it's back and forth energy, quick back and forth, passionate energy, okay? So the, the Empress is closing out cycles, possibly dealing with um, people who are in and out okay like i said ending old things so that new things can come in and we have these seven of swords okay it's in reverse when it's upright that means there's trickery deception okay when it's reversed that means because it's closing out the cycle the empress is starting to pay attention to um the things around her that came that were sneaky okay the people around her that weren't for her okay so i'm feeling like like I said, with the world here, the Empress is closing off a chapter, okay? Closing out a chapter of not having um, respect and care for herself by just following just things that only fall quick, fast, passion, okay? Nothing that was actually solid. And, you know, deception, people deceiving, seeing things for what they truly are, okay? That's what's going on with the Empress, yeah? Because we have the King of Cups here. Um, the King of Cups is someone um, who is very emotionally mature, okay? They know how to control their emotions. Um, someone's very loving, someone's very kind, okay? This person can also be kind of clairvoyant or have um, some type of special gifts as far as um, intuition, okay? So this person is very good at following their intuition, how they feel, okay? So possibly a king of cups could be coming toward an empress, okay? You may have noticed that this person cut off, you know, all things that doesn't serve them. And that's been what's drawing them in, okay? But we also have the page of wands. So that could be like news. So I feel like a king of cups may be wanting to reach out to an empress, okay? Wanting to speak truth, wanting to give information. Um, The only problem with the page of wands, though, is that it's usually like the news can sometimes be distorted because it's such a young person okay um so be careful about the news that comes in but like i said i see that the empress has closed off a lot of cycles that no longer serve her so she she'll understand how to interpret this information that she may be receiving because i see like quick and quick info coming in to her look i can't make it up we have the eight of wands okay that's someone wanting to travel towards the empress um that's quick communication coming in very very fast um song that's on now cardi b pull up <laughs> so, 
So I'm feeling as though like the Empress knows that there's someone wanting to come towards her and speak to her or there just could be someone that is wanting to come towards her. But with the song pull up on, it's like she's actually waiting on this um, person or whatever this is to pull up. She's waiting on things to change. Yeah, we have the tower here. So something quick, unexpected. We have a lot of passionate, quick, fast forward movement. So something is about to take off for the Empress very, very quickly. Um, it may catch you by surprise because the tower is usually something by surprise. It could be the falling down of something or the coming up or something. Like I said, with the page of wands here, because that's news coming, but it's immature news. So whatever this is that's coming, um, just be, be cautious about it, okay? Because we do have the seven of swords out here, okay? So it may not be meant to be deceptive. But there's still an energy of deceptiveness that is around. Awesome. We have the death, okay? So that's the ending, the new beginning. We have two major arcana endings and new beginnings here with the world and the death card, okay? So, and then the tower here as well is a lot of shifting big energy going on right now, okay? All right, then we have ooh, temperance, <laughs> another major arcana, and justice. Okay, so there's some balance. Maybe, like I said, maybe there was some gossip that went on with this page of wands here. Um, some possibly some slander, um, by someone that is, you know, I'm feeling with the knight of wands because that's usually like when it's sexual energy, it's someone that's coming in and out all the time. Because we have the page of wands and the knight of wands here, so I'm feeling like maybe someone may have spoke. This is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like someone may have spoke to a king. The king of cups may have um, slandered the empress's name. May have said that she was um, she was very uh, promiscuous. Okay, dealing with a lot of people here because we have um, the knight and the page. So dealing with a lot of people. Um, someone who wasn't really stable here with the tower here. Um, someone who wasn't balanced, someone, but I'm seeing because the only card that is reversed is this seven of swords. So, this again, and with the page of wands, that's like information that's not truthful, okay? Okay, so someone may have told the king of cups that you know about this empress. This king of cups may have had his eye on this empress, but someone came through and ooh, look at the pouring the cup, somebody was gossiping about this. Um, this empress and they spread false lies on this empress okay um possibly said this this empress slept around she was promiscuous okay but i see judgment and balance here for this okay and also death someone could pass away um possibly the person who started this rumor or you know because it could have been more than one person with this rumor because i see a lot of communication in it could be up to eight people with the eight of wands okay so i see a lot of a lot of chatter about whatever this situation is, but it's about to end. It's a, a definitely a new beginning for the Empress, okay? Um, yeah, with this page of pentacles, somebody wanted to come in with a solid offer for the Empress, okay? Maybe they realized that what they heard about this Empress is, wasn't true, and now they're feeling some type of way for even believing what people had to say about this Empress, this King of Cups, possibly. Um, doesn't have to be, but it's someone, like I said, that possibly had strong emotions for this empress, and they're starting to realize, you know, all the injustices that were going on for this empress. So the song that's on now is Feel Away by 2 Chains and Kanye West, and he was just saying uh, they sold dope together, and now <laughs> they couldn't tell him nothing different. Okay, so like I said, I feel like this King of Cups here is whoever told him this information about this empress was somebody that he could have been a friend, a family member, somebody that he was close to, okay? But now he's feeling some type of way about these people because he's realizing that that information that he received was not true, okay? That there was deceit in this information and that it came from someone who was immature, what else did 
All right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles here, okay? Um, with the the Scythe and the Barley. So whatever, I, like I said, I'm feeling like this page, I'm sorry, this King of Cups saw in this Empress a family, okay? Ten of Pentacles, generational wealth. He saw someone that was stable, um, car number eight, someone that he felt like his, was his destiny. And someone tried to come through and cut that off very quickly, okay? Yeah, with the five of wands here, trying to cause a lot of strife and fight, okay? Um, card number 33 breaks down to a six, so that could be like a past lover, a past friend, okay? Um, somebody from a past. This could have been uh, some energy carried over from past lifetimes. So these two people, this king of cups and this empress, could have been together lifetimes. But each lifetime, somebody comes through and tries to you know cut either one of them off by spreading lies and gossip and causing fights and arguments around them okay to keep them from getting to their their divine ten of pentacles okay so this abundance is a birthright abundance something that they you know is destined with this number eight okay so someone trying to come through and stop this destiny stop this union okay but temperance and justice is here so it's letting me know that that's not what's gonna happen okay and i'm gonna get away with that yes listen i can't make it up we got another eight of wands here clarifying the eight of wands okay card number 13 breaks down to a four so and with the snake here trying to get to this bird like the birds are birds usually signify like the spiritual realm or like ancestors that are around okay so the ancestors saw this snake um trying to cause all this strife and all this backlash okay my cat yelling in the background so i know this is i'm on the right path so with the eight of wands here twice and again with the snake like somebody was trying to come through and give a lot of false information so it may have been several things that or several people that were telling this king of cups several things about this empress okay trying to end this cycle that was not supposed to be ended look we got the five of wands and the five of pentacles so that's definitely someone trying to slow down somebody's money with this anchor here trying to stop someone trying to keep them with 28 breaking down to a 10 trying to keep them from completing a cycle okay um keep them from closing out on um just keep them from from bettering themselves from healing themselves okay with the temperance here that's balance that's equal balance between the masculine and the feminine energy okay um <laughs> so the song that's playing now is leave them alone by Layton quality control Layton green and i think it's little baby and the city girls are on here okay and she's talking about how she can't leave them alone so i'm feeling like these two people really have a strong attraction towards each other this king of cups and this empress um but like i said there are people for lifetimes that have been trying to get in their way and slow them down and keep them fighting keep them arguing and not seeing eye to eye and like i said the ancestors spirit has been watching this go down probably each lifetime and this is the lifetime where they've decided to put a halt to it okay and like with all these major arcanas, we got one, two, three, four, five major arcanas here out of 10 cards, okay? This is going to change. Like this, these people are, can no longer be successful in stopping this, um, these two people from coming together, okay? With the world here, the tower, death, temperance, justice, like this was destined, okay? Um, justice making things right balancing thing out we have two cards of balance here we have two cards of closing things out um and you know just unexpected surprises happening like i said my condolences but i do feel like someone um that may have been spreading some gossip may pass away soon okay and that that's the ancestors way of you know stopping these these people because like i said it's more than one person it's upwards of eight people but but I feel like the ancestors are saying they got to make an example out of one so that <laughs> so that people can stop trying to cause imbalance and cause towers in these people's lives, okay? We got the Queen of Pentacles, okay? The Queen of Pentacles, again, a mother, someone who's nurturing, 
um, card number 12, which breaks down to a three. So I'm feeling like this is the Empress, okay? And then we have, yeah, the three of pentacles. So someone wanting to come and work with the Empress, card number 12 or 48 breaks down to a 12, which breaks down to another three, okay? So um, like I said, I'm feeling like there's a king of cups wanting to work with the queen of pentacles. That's also an Empress, okay? And <clears throat> people have been trying to cause all types of strife to keep them from speaking the truth to each other, okay? From realizing that the king of cups came out again <laughs> the king of cups here with you know with the two hands like one this king of cups wants to reach out to somebody we have card number 24 which again breaks down to a six which talks about the past past lovers past relationships okay um Matter of fact, six is the lover's card. So these are two people that were meant to get, be together. And this king is looking over here at this queen, wanting to come towards them, wanting to work together, okay? But not sure because he I feel like he's feeling foolish for listening to the lies that these people were spreading, okay? About this queen of pentacles, okay? Listen, I can't make it up with the Six of Cups. Again, past life. Um, card number three, Empress, okay? Um, with this house here. Yes, this is a past life relationship. It's a relationship that these two people have been together through several lifetimes, okay? And what's happening is that in each lifetime, someone has came through and caused some type of strife. So either these people um, end up breaking up or they don't get to complete the mission that they're supposed to have together okay because these two people are supposed to work together to build um on their wealth right and someone has been trying to slow that down or stop that but with the five of pentacles here okay stop so these people are possibly at the three of pentacles they both are established the queen of pentacles the king of cups they're both established they both have good homes they take care of their children they take care of their responsibilities okay but someone has been trying to cut them off quickly an enemy keep them stuck okay to keep them at this five of pentacles but these people once they get together it's going to be the ten of pentacles so what i'm seeing here is that whatever these people are trying to stop it can't be they can't stop it 17 17 was on the clock which breaks down to an eight and eight is destiny okay this is something that has been destined with all of these major arcanas here it's just been slowed down but spirit is you know not happy with this being slowed down and so now they're about to bring justice okay and like i said that could bring about someone's death um the tower here a lot of people are gonna start things are gonna start crumbling around them their life is gonna start falling apart i just heard you can tell the fruit of a man i mean you can tell the the deeds of a man by the fruit that he bears so people are gonna start seeing that um people that seemed like they had a lot um they had their life together they're gonna start their life is gonna start falling apart and you're gonna know because you're gonna start seeing like people lose their jobs lose their houses lose their cars all these this status that they thought that they had people aren't going to want to deal with them um because these are the people that were trying to stand in the way of this union of these two people coming together okay with the eight of cups i'm feeling like someone is um ready to walk away walk towards their happiness okay um car number 36 breaking down to nine someone is choosing themselves uh, over this situation okay they're tired of the fighting they're they're going to follow their heart and go after what it is that they want okay like i said i feel like this king of pentacles has possibly been watching this queen of pentacles for quite a while wanting to go towards her but because people came through and spread lies and just said all types of things that may not have been true this king of cups listened to this information and now he's like realizing because he may be seeing these people go through these tower moments and he's realizing you know they were just trying they were just enemies you know they were trying to keep him from this new beginning with this ace of wands here okay trying to keep him stuck not knowing which way to go okay 31 keeping him with the four possibly dealing with messing with his health um because that speaks about the body um possibly messing with his foundation so um possibly like damaging homes that he's had or um 
you know, messing up his money so that, you know, he can't pay for his home and his own stability, okay? Just all types of things. But he's going to start noticing that these people that are around him, that have surrounded him, tower moments are going to happen for them. Quick, unexpected things. And like I said, I even see death here. So someone may pass away in my condolences because that's never um, something that you want. But when you put out bad intentions, because it could have been someone here that was wishing that one one or both of these people passed away so that they never meet. And when you put out bad intentions like that, they comes back to you tenfold, okay? So this person may, they may not pass away, but they may lose someone that is very important to them, okay? <clears throat> yeah, we have the Queen of Cups here, counterpart. So you have the King and the Queen of Cups here, and you also have marriage. So, like I said, someone's wanting to walk away from a situation that they are in. It possibly could be a third-party situation. So, this King of Cups may be married to a Queen of Cups, but now he's realizing that this Queen of Cups really... Yeah, because the Queen of Cups is watching the King of Cups, who's watching the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So, this Queen of Cups and this King of Cups may be, you know, realizing that they... Or this King of Cups may be realizing that he really is caring for someone else he doesn't really care for this queen of cups as much anymore like he doesn't want to be married with this person anymore um and so he's wanting to get away from this um possibly going through a divorce wanting to get a divorce um because he's starting to see that this queen of cups were was putting things in his way to keep him from going towards this queen of pentacles okay because she for whatever reason wanted to keep him so the song that's on now is you belong with me by taylor swift yeah <laughs> so this queen of cups is feeling like you know this king of cups is is hers he belongs to her he, she doesn't want him to go anywhere she doesn't want him to leave this relationship this king of cups may be this queen of cups only stability okay he may pay all the bills in the household he may you know this queen of cups may feel may be very well taken care of but because she was trying to stop this person and cause a lot of strife in this person's life it made this king of pentacles want to go towards this queen of pentacles i'm sorry this king of cups want to go towards this queen of pentacles because maybe she was a little bit more nurturing a little bit kinder a little bit more caring okay um and so, like I said, the King of Pentacles, I don't know why I keep saying that. The King of Cups may be now seeing all the things that are going on. Like, there may be tower moments in his life, but he's getting tower moments because of what this Queen of Cups has going on. So, she may be over here wishing ill will. Like I said, she may have wished death on either the King of Cups or the Queen of Pentacles to keep them from coming together and working together. And so now she may pass away or she may go to jail or someone close to her may pass away. Okay. Um, so if you, if you are the King of Cups and you're watching this and you're not sure who this is in your life, pay attention to the people around you. When, when tower moments start hitting them and, you know, they seem like, why is this happening to them? You know, this seems like a good person. They do good things. Pay attention to the fruit that they've bared. Okay what what have they done that is productive and you start to notice who your enemies are i feel like spirit is with you guiding you showing you who these enemies are anyway but you're going to realize that you know this may come as a shock because of the tower being here that this queen of cups this person that you've been spending all this time with this your counterpart that you thought loved you and cared for you you may see that this may be your number one enemy okay listen with the six of swords that's like spirit leading you from the turmoil to calmer waters okay card number 29 breaks down to an 11 so that's like the twin flame number okay it's about the duality okay so spirit it could be leading you to see all of the evil around you okay all the people that may not necessarily be there for you Okay, the song that's on now is Cardi B, Beacon Head. <laughs> wow. 
Well, I'll go out, get some chicken, get some bread. So this person may have solely depended, this Queen of Cups may solely depend on this King of Cups for, you know, what he can do for her. Like I said, he may be the one who pays all the bills. He may keep her, he may have kept this Queen of Cups very um, comfortable. You see what I'm saying? She didn't have to work. She didn't have to do anything, but because she wanted so much, you know, to keep this person stuck with them so that she wouldn't you know she tried to keep this mask of this king of cups energy um <clears throat> connected to her so that she could live you know a better lifestyle but this wasn't what was destined this king of cups was po possibly destined to be with this queen of cups i'm sorry queen of pentacles and because she decided to throw this queen of cups decided to throw all this turmoil and you know, tried to hold this person back, probably misspent finances, probably stole money from this King of Cups. Whatever the situation was, um, now justice is being served. And yeah, because the Queen of Cups is on the justice. So this Queen of Cups is about to get um, her judgment. You know, she's about to go through this justice. She may lose everything. Like I said, she may lose people around her or she may herself even lose her own life. But that's because... She may have put in so much work to keep this King of Cups energy stuck, okay? Um, so let's see. I got the Kipper out. We'll do like two or three cards. Clarify this a little bit more for us, Spirit, with the Kipper. Thank you. Yeah, mature man. This King of Cups has wised up he's gotten this knowledge okay he's ready to move forward i'm feeling like this mature man is this king of cups he's gained knowledge card number five is someone who who's a higher fan okay so that's someone who has a higher spiritual um connection like i said i feel like spirit has been leading this king of cups has been dropping little clues for him to see what has been going around him for him to get clarity on the things that are going on around him and now he's matured and he's ready because he's looking at this world. He's ready to move on, okay? He has the opportunity possibly to travel the world. And then we have the expectation here, card number 28. So he he knows that there's someone that is waiting for him to come towards him because there is a there is a twin, I see a twin flame union here, or just you know, someone who's a soulmate. So I feel like this mature man knows that his soulmate is waiting for him and that the person that he is with is not his soulmate at this time, okay? And so now he's trying to figure out how to move away. But I'm feeling like he doesn't want to just leave because he doesn't want anyone to be hurt. But spirit, from what I'm seeing here, is saying that there is definitely going to be someone hurt because this person that he could possibly be with only wished ill on him this person probably never had any emotions for him or was just not yeah with the mature woman here um yeah yeah this person he doesn't because you have the mature man and the mature woman so these people are possibly in a relationship and they're both realizing it's not just the the masculine who realizes this but like i said i feel like this queen of cups was always you know she knew that this person wasn't really her soulmate or her person and so she just threw a lot of obstacles in this person in this king of cups or this mature man's way to keep him from moving towards this person that this soulmate that has been waiting for him okay someone who is pure okay so with this mature woman she has on a lot of blue and a lot of purple okay so blue speaks about like the way you speak um and then purple is like your connection with the divine so i'm feeling like this queen of cups was just as intuitive as this um king of cups okay um and so she already knew from the beginning that this was not her person not her soulmate but because she was comfortable in the lifestyle that she was living, she didn't want that to change. She started, like, throwing things at this man, okay? And then we have the main female at the bottom of the deck, okay? So 
she knew that there was someone else that was actually more suited for this mature man but to keep him from moving towards this person she threw all types of things in his way like i said she possibly stole money she possibly had him fighting with other people okay spreading lies and gossip on him as well as this other person okay we have the message of concern that popped over but also this card flipped over as well so courtship so um with the message of concern someone may like i said the tower is here and that kind of gives me tower things so someone may get some type of news um possibly with the courtship here possible about this person saying that they're ready to end this relationship they no longer want to be in this relationship right four five six is here so that's like a progression this mature man has has realized where he's supposed to be where he needs to be where he wants to be and he's about to give this information to this i'm feeling like this mature woman but he may even be contacting this um i just feel like this masculine energy may be communicating with both people okay he's going to communicate how he truly feels to this mature woman about not wanting to be in this situation anymore he also may um contact the expecting woman to let them know either how he feels that he wants to be in this relationship or he wants to get to know this person more um or just you know wanting to talk and tell this this person that's waiting on him why why they had she had been waiting so long yeah with the false person at the bottom of the deck he's realized that this mature woman was not who she was portraying herself to be okay and like i said judgment is here for this person justice is about to be served for whoever this was that was trying to stop these two people from coming together all right spirit so let's close this out with one wisdom oracle The song that's on now is The Light by Jeremiah and Ty Dollar Sign. Okay, so when you have the light, that's illumination. Like I said, this situation has been illuminated now. Okay, there are no more secrets, no more deceit. Okay, everybody sees everything clearly for what it is. Justice is here to be served. High Spirit One card, please. Thank you. All right, so the card that popped out is a leg up. So that's like spirit. <laughs> spirit brought clarity to this card number 34. That's the divine number seven, okay? So that lets you know that spirit was helping. He's giving this person a leg up, okay? Giving this masculine energy. Like I said, dropping all these jewels for this masculine energy to finally see the truth for what it is, okay? To realize that he wasn't being his true authentic self, realizing that this feminine energy wasn't being her true authentic self and even the empress may not have been being her true authentic self in the beginning either but what i do see is a lot of healing here okay everybody has learned some something from this situation and has gotten some form of healing so let's see what the book says and then we'll close it out Thirty-four. Oh, so, receiving help, delegating authority, interdependence. You've come to a point where going it alone is no longer optimal for you. Life has a way of presenting you with the perfect people to align with who can give you a leg up during this next phase of your journey. Help comes to you in all areas of your life where you need a boost. The trick is to accept that aid so freely given. When you embrace interdependence, allowing teamwork and interdependence to commingle, miracles happen. Now is such a time. So Spirit is saying that, um, like I said, I feel like the King of Cups or this mature man was taking care of this mature woman or this Queen of Cups, okay? They were more codependent, not interdependent. They couldn't stand together on their own. Or, you know, the King of Pentacles probably could have, but this Queen, I'm sorry, the King of Cups could have, but this Queen of Cups couldn't. And so, because she didn't feel like she could take care of anything on her own, she threw all types of distractions and 
you know, fights and all those things in this King of Cups way to keep him from moving forward to someone he felt he could build a team with, okay? Someone who could work with him to build wealth instead of keeping him stuck, okay? And Spirit has opened this person's eyes to all of the things that were going on around him and now is sending help, okay? So, um, some type of miracle is coming, okay? But, of course, a lot of things had to go down before this actually came to fruition, okay? So, Spirit's been working hard, but um, this this situation is about to be corrected, okay? So, this mature man is going to follow his heart. This mature woman is going to learn a lesson from this and also follow her heart. And this Queen of Cups is also going to follow her heart, okay? So everybody's heart has been open. Everybody is going to follow with their, their heart, you know? They're going to go for what makes them feel good, what brings them emotional stability, okay? So I'm going to end this off by doing a little Reiki healing on the heart chakra. So all you have to do to accept this energy is take a deep breath in and out. And just focus on your heart area. See a green light pulsing. Going stronger and stronger. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for sending this energy to those whose heart needs it. Help to open and heal the heart chakra and balance it out so that these people can live in their true, authentic selves, okay? All right. Ooh. I hope you guys feel that energy that's coming towards you at this time. And if you don't, it's okay. As long as you're open to it, it's going to go where it needs to go and it's going to heal what it needs to heal. All right, you guys. You can come back and get this energy anytime. If you want to book a personal session with me to do Reiki healing or to get a personal reading, that information is in my description box. Again, thank you guys for your likes, your shares, your subscribes. Don't forget to hit the notification bell when you see, so you can see when I post. Check out my Shopify store for nice little bracelets and candles and um, <laughs> they took it out of my mouth and sages. And also, um, you know, if you want to donate to the channel, that'll be in the description box below again. All right, you guys, I thank you so much for being here, and I will see y'all on the next video. I love you lots. Bye.